Hi class. Well, here we are. This is the final assessment. So I'm going to go th through the exercises that are on the form, um, demonstrate each one. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm at least going to demonstrate them. Um, what's going to happen through the video, like the last time I did this, is I'll let you know when to pause the video. So just pause it, do your exercise, write down your results somewhere on a piece of paper or in your phone, on your phone, <clears throat> and then press play and come back to the video. The video is not what you're getting graded on. Remember, it's the results. So you'll need to send your results either in on the form that you downloaded to your computer. Um, you can also take a picture of it and put your uh, results on your own computer if you're using maybe a PC or something instead. Um, or you can just send it in a file or a text box, um, whatever, however you want to do it. Just you're sending my your results to me to receive your final assessment points, okay? So this video is just to follow along with what exercise you are doing and also what the results are, okay? So we are going to go ahead and warm up. So this is the last time that we do this. And uh, let's go ahead and go for it. So chest expansion. So it's the same exercise as we've done before. Nothing surprising. We're not going to warm up with the 100 because we actually test for the 100, right? Do some side reaches. Turn that into dynamic. Good. All right, go ahead and come to a seated position. So the first exercise that we're testing is our breathing. Um, I'm just going to explain what you're doing and then you're going to pause the video and count or time uh, your breathing. So you're taking one breath, remember, you're going to pull that inhale in as deeply as you can. We're not pausing or holding our breath and you're going to slowly transition into a really long, slow exhale. And during that time, from the onset of inhaling to the ending of your exhale, you're counting that time or keeping time on your phone, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and just start your breathing, count your breathing, write down the number, and then you'll come back. So go ahead and pause the video, do your breathing. You're counting one breath, and then write it down, and then press play and come on back. All right, so you just did your breath test. Now we're gonna go into the 100 exercise. So the, <clears throat> the time that you did this, what you're doing is you're counting, time before that you did this, you're counting how many you can do up until 100 pumps of the arms. If you did not get 100 pumps of the arms, you're only trying to get to 100, okay? If you've done 100 before, you're just going to 100 again. But our legs in our, are in a low hold, so let me show you. So it's a low hold, just right above the hips, and we're just counting. Where everything is the same. Five pumps for an inhale, five pumps for an exhale, 10 total breaths, 100 pumps if you can, and then write down your result to when you stop before the 100, or when you get to 100, just write down 100. So go ahead and pause the video and then come on back. We'll get going to the next step. All right, so you did your 100. So now we're on to the Fab Five. So the Fab Five uh, is the five exercises, uh, single leg, double leg, crisscross, single straight, and double straight. We'll do them all traditionally, and we're trying to do as many as we can. So 
Um, you can either do five of repetitions of each exercise if you weren't able to do the five before, or you can do more. So you can go seven or eight repetitions of each exercise if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this with you, but I'm going to demonstrate it here. So watch me. We've done this before. So you'll do single legs, so that would be one, and then you would do as many as you want, and then you go into double leg, five or more, and then we would go into crisscross, five or more, and then single straight, five or more, and then double straight, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do eight repetition. So if you want to stay with me, you can. Otherwise, you can do however many you'd like. All right, here we go. Ready? Single leg. That's one, two, three, four, Seven and eight. Crisscross, hands behind your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single straight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Double straight, hands behind your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow. <laughs> Good. All right, so write down your results after you put fab five and then your results. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you completed all the five exercises. If you didn't, just write a little note next to it with how many reps you did, okay? Um, we're gonna do our roll up next. So roll up is just as many roll ups as you can do in a row continuously until you're done. Um, obviously, you don't wanna do too many. Um, you know, to, to limit what you can do later, but uh, if you can remember how many you did last time, you just wanna see if you can surpass that. So let me just demonstrate and then you can pause the video, okay? So it's straight leg, arms back, and it's just a traditional roll up, up over the legs, and then slowly coming down without compromising form. That would be one, and then I would continue to go until I'm done. So go ahead and pause the video, do as many roll-ups as you can, and write down your number, and then press play and come on back. All right, so you just completed your roll-up, and we're gonna go into push-up leg pull-down. Okay, so you can decide whether or not you'd like to do your modified or traditional. You're just gonna write that down on your results, okay? Let me demonstrate. Modified push-up leg pull-down looks like this. You're gonna keep count of how many you can do. Knees are down, and then you go into your pull-down, and then you pull your knees down and repeat. 
If you're gonna do traditional, it's knees off the ground into pull down and repeat. Okay? So decide which one you're gonna do. Stay with that one. Do as many as you can until you stop. Write down your number and then come on back. So go ahead and press pause. All right, so you did your push-up leg pull-down exercise. We're gonna go into our spine stretch. Let's practice a couple spine stretches before we test. We're just working on some flexibility here, warming up. One more. Good. Okay, so how we test it, our feet are right outside the width of our mat, and we're going to stretch forward and then bring our hands all the way down, and then we're gonna just kind of judge where our hands are or our wrists um, are in comparison to our feet, our ankles, our shins, whatever it is, okay? And then you're just gonna write down that little description of where they land. So it looks like this. So I'm just gonna stretch forward, drop my hands, and this is as far as I can go today. So I'm just gonna write down that my, uh, my, my wrists are at my ankles. So that's my best locator, you know, of where my hands land, okay? So go ahead and pause the video, do your spine stretch, and then write down your result, and then press play and come on back. All right, you guys, so you did your spine stretch, so now we're gonna finish with our Superman pulls. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. You're gonna come over to your tummies. You know, this is the total number that you can do without stopping. <clears throat> so remember, Superman, arms and legs come up, elevate off the mat. And then I'm gonna pull my elbows bent back towards my sides, extend my arms out again, and lower. So I'm doing my Superman pulls, keeping count of how many I can do. Make sure you're breathing and counting. So go ahead and pause the video, do your Superman pulls, write down your result, and then come on back. All right, so you just finished your Superman pull, so now it's just about your goals. Um, if you'll remember what you wrote down on your goals, you might have to look at your sheet again uh, or your results that you sent to me the last time. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and readdress those goals. Did you accomplish any? I want you to write that down, uh, specific ones that you did. Maybe you went over, you exceeded um, uh, your goals. Write that down. Maybe you didn't, maybe you were close. What is that, you know, what exactly what your goals were and respond to those. Um, so your final statement will be in your weekly connection. So this is just your self-assessment results that you'll send to me. And then the weekly connection will be your final weekly connection. It'll have a couple of questions for you. Um, and that's just to give me some feedback about your experience in this class so make sure that you respond to that for your points and then you're done um, if you um, really enjoyed uh, the Mount Pilates class and you are enrolled in the one uh, you can take the Mount Pilates 2 session or section next semester if you'd like it will be online again unfortunately um, if you took the Mount Pilates 2 section this semester and you haven't taken the Matt Pilates one section, uh, you can take the one section next semester as well. So uh, nothing in the summer, but in the fall, that's what I'm offering, okay? So uh, thank you for taking the class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got great reward from this class and maybe continuously um, from here on out uh, include some Pilates in your workouts. So, uh, if you have any questions, just reach out and grading will be done uh, next week. So you have until the end of the week, as usual, to turn everything in. All right. Have a great day.